news this week. So much got announced. So uh, let's jump in. Uh, let's see. Okay, one of the biggest trailers for the most anticipated game of 2023 came out this week. The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom has a brand new trailer. This is the final trailer before the game launches, so it's like three minutes long. Nintendo announced that they would be doing like a special kind of event and, uh, you know, release this trailer. So a lot of Nintendo and Zelda fans were really excited for this and uh, they put the trailer out. As of right now, the recording of this video, the trailer has over like 3 million views and it just came out like yesterday, which is insane. So, uh, yeah, three minutes of just full-on gameplay footage from Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, the game is launching next month, and it looks amazing. This looks like one of the best Zelda games we have gotten in a long time. Uh, I watched the trailer, and about halfway through, I was like, whoa, I need to pre-order this game, like, right now. And, uh... I didn't have it pre-ordered, but this trailer actually made me want to pre-order the game. Uh, it was that good. So if you have a Switch, if you like The Legend of Zelda, or if you've never played a Zelda game, go check out this trailer. It's on YouTube. Just type in uh, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom trailer. It should pop up. Wow. This trailer had everything. It had, like, uh, it showed us, like, some bosses, some creepy areas, new weapons, new, new attacks, new locations, music. I was, like, blown away. Like, there's so many things now I want to do in this game now, like, exploring some of the areas they showed in the trailer. Uh, some new areas look fantastic. There's all sorts of, like, new abilities. Uh, the story, the, it looks like there's a lot more focus on story this time. We got to see Ganondorf, Zelda, Link, of course, and I really want to know what happens in the story of this game, so this looks like it's going to be amazing. So that came out. Nintendo fans are going crazy this week about that, and uh, yeah, definitely go check out that trailer. Big news. And then after all of that, uh, Final Fantasy 16 got a, like, 20 to like 30 minute gameplay trailer uh playstation dedicated stream so playstation came out and basically gave square enix the developers of the upcoming final fantasy 16 they, they gave them like a special stream where they just talked about the game showed off the game gave us some new trailers some new gameplay final fantasy 16 looks amazing uh, the combat, like the actual combat, the fighting, the gameplay in this game is so fast, so fluid. You can tell they put a lot of work into the battle system and the feel. Uh, it looks like it's going to be one of the best like fantasy games of this year, for sure. So, if you're a fan of games like Devil May Cry, The Witcher, uh, stuff like that, it feels like it's going to be like a hack and slash kind of action game. But... It's also going to be like a fantasy RPG with, uh, you know, classic Final Fantasy things like chocobos and music from Final Fantasy and a crazy and insane story. And some of that gets shown in this recent trailer. So if you don't want spoilers, I don't recommend checking it out. But wow, completely blown away by the graphics. The boss fights look insane. And uh, one thing I really liked is uh, this game was... It's made like specially for the PlayStation 5, so it's going to look amazing on the PS5. They really are like pushing it to the limit, apparently. And uh, so they showed some of the lo locations in this uh, in this new Final Fantasy 16 game in this recent trailer, and some of the areas look so realistic. Like there was this fight in like a forest, and you could see like the trees and everything, the vegetation, you know, looked super realistic and detailed like the, the grass in some areas how the leaves look like on the trees like bushes and things and then they showed us like a new ice area and then they showed us like a desert area they really did a good job to capture kind of like an otherworldly like feeling with the game uh you know i like fantasy games like you know lord of the rings uh kind of 
transports you into the Lord of the Rings world. Like, it looks completely different from locations that we have here on Earth almost. Like, a lot of the places are just so, so crazy, so different. And this new Final Fantasy uh, trailer did exactly that. Like, there's some locations that just look breathtaking and, like, amazing. And I can't wait to play this game. So, two amazing trailers for great games we're getting this year dropped this week so highly recommend checking those out even if you've never played any uh you know zelda or final fantasy games you gotta check out these trailers they they look amazing so next we got some news about fortnite um so fortnite had a huge collab drop this week a lot of people were super 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 excited about this collab so uh yeah fortnite had an update that came out and now we have a bunch of attack on titan characters from the anime attack on titan uh in fortnite so we have aaron mikasa levi all of these are characters from attack on titan uh they gave them like special emotes back blings gliders and not only did they do that but they also added mythic items from the attack on titan show and manga in the game so uh there's the odm gear which kind of functions like the spider-man mythic in fortnite where unlike you know spider-man that can web sling his way across the fortnite map with this mythic uh that we had many many seasons ago this new mythic is the odm gear from attack on titan uh it's kind of like a hook shot that hooks onto trees or buildings and then pulls you towards that and then you can like quickly unhook yourself and hook to another spot very cool uh it can you can also do uh, sword damage with like these blades while you use your ODM gear. So a lot of tryhards and pro players are having a lot of fun. Demobility is insane. If you have not played Fortnite in a while, you gotta check it out. Uh, and they also added like these explosive, uh, I forget what, like explosive like spears. I forget the exact name, but they're mythic weapons from Attack on Titan, and they're also in Fortnite now. So. Everybody is super excited with this collab, and uh, Fortnite Today also just announced a collab with Coachella again this uh, this year. So Fortnite's having kind of like a little virtual Coachella experience. There's like a special creative map you can go to. It has some music and stuff, and there's brand new skins on the shop, so I thought I would mention that as well. Uh, next, let's talk about the Super Mario movie. Oh my goodness. This thing is breaking literally every single record for animated movies and video game movies and fastest, you know, selling movies and things like that. So, as of right now, it has already won at least two awards. So, the Super Mario movie has secured itself as the most successful opening for an animated film ever of all time so let me let me just say before frozen 2 apparently had this record uh when frozen 2 came out it sold like crazy like everybody went to go see that you know because frozen was like a huge thing uh before that i think like cars 2 how to train your dragon uh shrek you know movies like that also sold very well but super mario just blew all of them out of the park like exploded in sales so um i'm sure disney is like super jealous they don't own super mario right now they're probably like wait we we want a mario movie too <laughs> but uh yeah um best selling fastest selling animated movie to come out is a super mario movie right now so that's that's fun that's crazy uh nintendo fans are very excited with that news and i'm sure nintendo is as well they're making a lot of money um and then this is the piece of news that i think is great so uh, apparently the super mario movie is going to be the highest grossing video game movie of all time so you can take every single movie that's based on a video game and put mario at the very top so apparently you know the sonic movies uh you know the silent hill resident evil movies the monster hunter movies like mortal Kombat, street fighter 
all those movies, no comparison. Mario's like at the top of this chart. So uh, that's <laughs> that's crazy. Honestly, I would expect nothing less. Uh, Mario is popular worldwide, so it makes sense for his movie to be one of the biggest movies of the year and in the you know video game ranking for films. So they're doing really good with that. Uh, let's see, let's see, what do we have? Ooh, we have an interesting story here. So anyone remember a while ago, a couple months ago, I talked about a, uh, a leak that came out. Apparently the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom had a Nintendo Switch book leak online. And this book, like pages from this book, had spoilers for the game. So someone leaked this. And, you know, people got to learn some story parts about the game before the game even came out. Like, it's not even out right now. So Nintendo takes this stuff super, super seriously. So they hired, like, an investigative team, I guess, over at Nintendo. And they were, like, just trying to find who leaked this info. Because Nintendo and Pokemon, they don't mess around with this stuff. So apparently they traced it back to a GameStop employee that got the, uh, the book early. Uh, it was like in a warehouse or something, uh, was not for sale yet. And this guy like took photos and posted the photos online and shared them with other friends and Nintendo fans. So Nintendo found out who the employee was, his name, where he works. They called GameStop and they were basically like, hey, we're gonna sue you. Uh, because what this employee of yours did is legal, so either, like, fire him, or if you keep him, we will, like, you know, push charges or things. So GameStop was, like, forced to fire this employee for leaking, uh, Legend of Zelda spoilers, basically, from this book. So that's some crazy news that happened this week. Uh, yeah, never mess with Nintendo and leaks. They will, they will find you, like, every single year when there's, like, a big Pokemon Mario Zelda game, there's always somebody that leaks something, and it always seems like Nintendo finds them. Like, after just a few months, they find them. So, it's crazy. They're the best uh, bounty hunter, I guess, Nintendo. Um, let's see. What else do we got here? Uh, we have some sad news, some disappointing news this week. So, apparently, the, um, the Redfall game, this big exclusive kind of, you know, next big exclusive uh, Microsoft Xbox game, Redfall. I'm sure some of you heard about this one. It's kind of like a running gun shooter. Uh, there's vampires. People have, like, superhuman abilities. Looks like a fun shooter. Um, this game, apparently, is going to be 30 FPS, and a lot of gaming fans, Xbox fans, got really mad about this. Um, so they said that when the game launches, it's only going to be available in 30 FPS mode. There's not like a setting where you can turn the graphics lower and make it, you know, 60 FPS or even higher. Uh, they said it's launching a 30 FPS graphics mode, so the game will look good, but it will run at 30 FPS. And, uh, it doesn't matter what version of Xbox you have. Uh, they said Xbox Series X and S will run the game at 30 FPS. So a lot of people got mad, like, why are you making a shooter, like a multiplayer online shooter that's 30 FPS? Uh, a lot of people were saying this game's like dead on arrival. Uh, that's the craziest thing ever, like 2023, to have FPS games coming out that are like 30 FPS. So uh, yeah, right now the Xbox community, a lot of people were arguing about this information. Of course, there's people defending uh, this and saying it's not that big a deal and there's probably going to be a patch shortly after the game comes out. But uh, yeah, apparently when the game launches, only 30 FPS. Now, the thing that's really strange for me is uh, this game is coming out on the Xbox Series X and the Xbox Series X, how much does it even cost right now? Like $500, I think. It could even be a little bit more, maybe 550 depending where you buy it. But imagine buying a console in, like, 2023. That's, like, $500. And then the game you buy for it is 30 FPS. So a lot of people are saying this is crazy. What, what are they doing? Why is this game like this? And, 
yeah, just, there's been a lot of heat uh, towards this right now. A lot of people are saying that Microsoft is rushing the game or telling them to rush the game. What makes it even stranger is people are saying that when this game, when you're playing it online, uh, and you're playing like co-op, like multiplayer with your friends, and it's stuck at 30 FPS, there's going to be frame drops that drop it to even like 25, 22 FPS. And I mean, I know a lot of you probably have played games that ran at 20 FPS at some point, and uh, you know how bad it is, like, you do not want to play any shooter that's running at like 20 FPS, it's really, really bad, especially when it's like, you know, competitive online game. So, uh, very strange, um, that Microsoft, you know, and people working on this thought that, you know, that would be okay. Uh, reminds me a little bit of when Halo, uh, was it the one before Infinite launched? They said something like this too, and they eventually fixed it, but a lot of fans got mad with that. And, uh, speaking of <laughs> fans getting mad, uh, it was confirmed this week that the Suicide Squad PlayStation 5 game is delayed now. Uh, apparently this game is coming out next year. This is like the third delay for this Suicide Squad game. It was supposed to come out like, I think last year, around summertime, and then it got delayed till uh, Christmas, and then now it's been delayed until next year. So 2024 Suicide Squad game is going to be releasing. So, um, People that have talked to people on the team have said that the game is not finished. It's not in working order right now, so I guess they have to, like, figure out some things. Maybe the game's not running well, but it uh, looks like they're having some de development problems with Suicide Squad, which is, you know, kind of sad, but I'm sure they really want to make a good game because after that, uh, that last game, Gotham Knights, being a DC game that wasn't that great, I'm sure DC and some other people there are probably like, hey, you better make this game really, really good or we're going to be angry. So that's probably why they're, they're, you know, taking their time with it, which is good. Hopefully they can fix everything with the game and have it ready uh, next year. Uh, let's see. What else? Ooh, Ubisoft put out an amazing uh, trailer, like gameplay trailer for their X Defiant beta. Now for those that don't know, uh, X Defiant is like Ubisoft's kind of like next big, uh, I want to say shooter, and it looks fantastic. Um, you have to go check some gameplay from this. It's called X Defiant. Uh, this looks like one of the best like new generation kind of like shooters. It looks fantastic. Uh, it's going to be launching on the Xbox Series X and S, but right now you can actually play the beta and uh, yeah, apparently the beta is live, and uh, you can, like, sign up, uh, or if you're, like, a big streamer, uh, they send you a code or something like that, but co closed beta is going on. You can actually get into it. There's, like, a few ways. If you search, uh, I saw people on Twitter, like, basically asking for uh, beta codes, and they were, like, getting invites, so uh, there's no release date. But uh, apparently the game's launch date is going to be arriving soon. So we don't know exactly when it will launch. But we know the beta is finishing at the end of this month. So looks great. This looks like a really fun FPS. I would say it reminds me of like Call of Duty and uh, maybe Rainbow Six Siege a little bit. Like imagine Call of Duty really fast but with like the cool like techniques that uh, Rainbow Six Siege kind of gives you, where you have to, like, protect objectives and things. I don't know, it looks awesome. Like, go check it out. It looks really, really good. I like it. I can definitely see it being, like, really popular. I think they're trying to, you know, make a new FPS game to kind of compete with Call of Duty and uh, Valorant, maybe, something like that. So they're trying different things out. really like how that game looks. Um... And that's kind of all the big news for this week. I gotta say, that's that's about it. There, there's a couple other, you know, little pieces of info on, you know, games that we might see in the future or stuff like that. But I think I went through all the big and important news for the week here. So, yeah, thank you all for listening, for watching. And, uh, oh, wait a second. Wait a second. I just forgot. I just forgot two crazy, crazy leaks. Um, so, this is for fans of Persona and 
Jet Set Radio. So this is pretty crazy. So two leaked clips, very, very short clips of upcoming games that Atlas slash Sega are making leaked online. And uh, they've been confirmed uh, already. So even though it's a rumor, uh, it looks like they're legit. So um, there is a, I can't, I don't know if I can even post it, but you can search probably Reddit, Twitter, online, try to find this for yourself. But they leaked footage of a Persona 3 remake. Uh, Persona 3, probably one of the most famous Persona games up there with 4 and 5. People really like this RPG. I'm sure some of you have heard of the Persona games. Uh, one of the Persona characters, Joker, even appeared in uh, Super Smash Brothers on Nintendo Switch. So uh, he's kind of popular. But uh, Persona 3 was a PlayStation 2 game. Uh, it got ported to like the PSP, and recently they ported one of those versions to like Steam and Nintendo Switch and PlayStation and stuff. But apparently, they are making a full-on remake of that game in the style of the new Persona games. So it's gonna be, you know, fully remastered with better graphics, new textures, visuals. So that's leaked. That is happening. We don't know when that's coming out, but they're making it. And the next one is Jet Set Radio is apparently getting a new game. We don't know if it's a remake, a remaster, a sequel, but looks like we're getting a new Jet Set Radio game, which, uh, for those that don't know, came out on the Sega Dreamcast. Really old game, uh, but really really fun kind of like it it's a mixture of like the tony hawk games uh but instead of skateboards you're on rollerblades and like a futuristic cyberpunk kind of city uh the art style is like nice and cell shaded and uh you can do graffiti on buildings you get spray cans you can spray paint as you are rollerblading and the game has like an amazing soundtrack so it looks like sega is trying to bring that series back so uh yeah now that is all the video game news for the week. Thank you all for listening, for watching. I'll see you all next time. So long, and farewell.